Hello guys, welcome along to lesson 28 of my uh, programming series of tutorials on BASIC. Uh, it's been a while since I did another, since I did one of these videos. We've been a little bit busy moving sites over and now we're on a new site. So if you want to check us out, if you check us out on the previous site and you want to check out the new site, then uh, do so. You'll find us at uh, learnforfree.bbforum.co. The link will be in the description anyway, you can click the link and get there if you want. But check us out we've got a new site some new features on there and what have you okay okay so what we're going to do with this one is a very very simple program this one's not going to be long at all so here we go there's one new instruction that i'm going to teach you in this one that i want to show you this instruction because this instruction really is suited for this program uh, what i'll do without further ado let's give it a quick run and see what happens what it basically does it's a percentage calculator Okay, and it'll work out percentages or various percentages for you. So what I'm going to do is just bring this into the into the um, window so you can see it. So what it does basically is it prints out what it is and it'll print out. You've got three options that you can choose from one, two or three. The first option, if you wish to find a percentage of a given number, example, what percentage of X is Y? In this case, I've put 24. What percentage of 24 is 6? Then please enter 1. The second option we've got, if you wish to find a number for a given percentage, now what that means is, what is 25% of 24, for instance, or what is X percent of Y? If you want to find that out, you press 2. And for the last option that we've got here, if you wish to find the whole number, example, what number is 25, 50% of, in other words, 25 is 50% of what? Then please enter 3. Okay, so I'll take these in 1, 2, and 3. I'll take them in numerical order first. So we'll, we'll press option 1 first. And then it gives you another uh, option here. Please enter the part of the total you wish to find the percentage of. Hopefully this is not too confusing for you. But what this means is if you wish to find what the percentage of, 20, of 24 is 6 enter the 6 so in other words if you want to find out you've got the number 6 and you want to know what percentage of another number i.e. in this case 24 what percentage 6 is we enter the 6 so um, let's see in this case I'm going to try and keep them easy for you so there's no decimal places if possible by working out on my head while I'm doing them for you um, so let's go um, okay what percentage of We'll go 5% and I'll think of, okay, please enter the number to find the percentage from. In the above example, you would enter 24. So the highest number. So what I'm looking for here is, let's say, what is 5% of, let's say, uh, 50, okay? And then it immediately comes back is 5, which is when we entered in, is 10%. It's giving you the percentage of 50. So we've put 5, we've put the 5 in. We've put the 50 in and it gives us the 10% there. That's the answer it gives us there. Okay. Would you like to try another number? Well, we've covered error traps and all sorts in previous programs, so I haven't glorified this in any way. Um, so basically in this program, what happens is if you press Y, it goes back, anything else, and it just terminates the program. So we've pressed Y and it brings us back to the beginning again. Uh, in this instance, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I, I want to find out the number for a given percentage. So I want to find out what is X percent of a number. So I'm going to enter two here and we'll go to option two. Please enter the percentage you wish to find. OK, so I wish to find, shall we say, 15 percent of well, let's say 60. Let's see what that comes up with. Okay, so we've entered 15% there. We've entered the total number there. And it's saying that 15% of 60 is 9. So that's the answer it gives you there is 9. And we'll give it another try. And this time we'll go for option 3. What we want to do now is find the whole number. So what number is, say, 25, 50% of? So we'll, we'll enter 3. And this time it's asking us, please enter the part of the number example. If you wish to find out what number 25 is, 25, 50% of, then you would enter 25. So we want to find out what 
15 is a percentage of let's say it's um, what number is 15 25 percent of okay and there we go 15 is 25 percent of 60 would you like another number well in this case we've covered them all you can see how it runs a uh, nice little piece of kit that you can use for yourselves and your own projects etc so we'll click on no now and we'll have a look at the um, program itself well but first of all i think what we're going to do here instead of having a quick look at the program we'll have a look at the overview shall we um, this is the um, flow chart that i drew for this program so basically we're printing the instructions out which you saw we're inputting um, the user answer one, two, or three. Is the answer equal to one? Yes. We perform the calculation one and, and print out the answer. And then we'd go back and ask if you want another go. And then we've got no end or yes, we go back round again. Um, if, the, if the answer is not one, then it'll check if it's answer to two, if it's equal to two. Similar procedure, if it's equal to two, then it'll perform calculation two and go back round again, etc. If it's not equal to 2, then it'll check if it's equal to 3. If it's not equal to 3, then it goes back and asks for the an for the answer again to be input, because it needs to be 1, 2, or 3. If it is 3, then it performs calculation 3, prints the answer out, asks for another go, and goes back round again, until you decide to print in N or anything else here, in which case the program will end. OK. So let's have a quick look at the program. There's nothing much in here that I can teach you, really. There's just one statement which I wanted to explain to you. The uh, rest of it is self-explanatory. As you can see, we've got on here from uh, line 10 up to line 70, really, is straightforward. It's just printing out the instructions. Um, if you wish, you can rephrase the instructions uh, to suit yourself. Basically, line 8 is just dropping the decimal point of whatever's input. So if, if I input 1.3 or 1.5 or whatever it's just accepting one rather than one point etc it drops that drops that then we just check in line 90 whether um a is less than one or a is greater than three if that's the case then it jumps back which is the loop uh, that we've just seen in um in this one basically that covers these here uh, if it's not equal to one two or three it loops back and asks again OK, um, this is the new line that I wanted to, to speak to you about. Line 100 on A, go to 110,190,260. That's a new statement. Some versions of basic use different syntax on this. I've got more information on the text version of this tutorial on our site. The link will be in the description if you want to read up a little bit more about this instruction. You can use any variable there and any line number obviously and if you had five if we had a range of one to five you could have five line numbers you're not limited to three at all what it basically says is it checks the value when we come across an on statement it checks the value in a now in our case a can be equal to either one two or three if a is equal to one then it will jump to that line number 110 if a is equal to two it will jump to that line number 190 if a is equal to 3, it will jump to that line number, 260. Very useful statement. All these are the parts of the um, program that work out the calculations for the percentages. But obviously, we have to work them out slightly different because we're working out different values, working out percentages of whole numbers, etc. So it's just working out three different calculations. And we're working out, we're going to whichever calculation we want to, which is decided in this statement here. If your version of BASIC doesn't use this, then you will have to use three if statements saying if A equals 1, then go to 110, if A equals 2, then go to 190, and if A equals 3, then go to 260. So the first line we go in is clearing there. We're just clearing the, the screen to keep it tidy. And then it's back to print statements again. Very, very simple. It's just asking you what you want to do. Uh, inputting your two variables for your numbers for A and B. And then this is your calculation part there, printing out the answer, jump into line 320. Um, the second part, which is 190, it does exactly the same. It just works out the calculation is just different. As you can see, that's A divided by B times 100. 
Um, this one is B divided by 100 times A, so it's exactly the same variables, just working it in a different way. Printing out slightly different, going back to 320 again, and then if, if A was 3, it would go down to 260, which again would print out, ask you for your, your two inputs, A and B, which are 270, 290. And again, as you can see, the calculations worked out slightly different again, A divided by, and in brackets, B divided by 100, printing out the same. And then they all jump, as you can see, to 320. 320 just prints a blank line to keep it, keep it nice and tidy. Um, let me just scroll down a little bit, because there's not, a little, there's not much more. Um, that's, that's a little bit more. There we go. Almost. Almost there. Okay, so um, 320 is just to print the line, as I said. 330, would you like to have another go? Sort of thing. Input A dollar. If a dollar is not equal to y, then go to 380. If it is equal to y, we clear the screen, jump back to the beginning at line 10, and that's about it. So that's basically it for this program, guys. Um, hope you enjoy it. Hope you like it. Keep tuned in. I'll do some more as and when I can. As I say, we have been a little bit busy. Please check our site out. And um, if you find that you like these videos, please rate and favorite them. Uh, also, we're on Vimeo as well, so you can check them out on Vimeo for any of you guys who prefer to, to check them out on Vimeo. Um, please subscribe to our channel and hope you like it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.